What's going on, guys? Welcome to the internet. I'll be your cube host, Frank Mike. And we're going to hop right into this bad boy. Uh, you're not playing it because you're watching me play it and you're living vicariously through me. And that's good enough. And that's good enough. You should hide Mike in a green screen outfit of some kind and have him surprise all of us like halfway. That's a lot of time for him to just sit there, but I don't hate the idea at all. Alrighty then, let's see what's going on here. Goblin King, we can do that again. I bet that arsonist tables. We could take Phantasmal Image, we could take a Johnny. Hmm. take here it does feel like the planeswalker is probably the most powerful pick which makes pop noises this is what I mean like I keep going to time on these picks because I don't know what to take because this is actually these picks are hard, man. Oh, Archangel of Tides. That's a good one, too. Demonic Pact, also one of my favorites. Hmm. Also, yeah, we can take the Archangel here and see what happens. I think it's actually probably the best card for us to take in this pack. Yeah, I'm going to take that. Bone Dragon. Mentor of the Meek is probably exactly what we want if we're drafting this white deck again. I'll take a Mentor of the Meek. Is this our third time first picking a Johnny? That seems like a lot. Game of combat, tap a dude, four six vigilant, not bad. Yeah, corset cube did not sound fun at first. I was like, wow, really? All the corset cards? Uh, if you've gained four or more life, create an angel. I kind of just want to take this and try to build around it. I think it's probably better than Savannah Lions just randomly. Hmm. We have no life gain cards yet, but I'm not sure actually even what life gain cards are in this cube. But this is definitely a solid build around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four cards are coming back. I bet one of the white cards comes back. Hmm. Sands, Day of Judgment, or Attended, attended Night. Attended. Attended Night. Hmm.
I'm at Hungry Howie's and the guy goes, is that Frank? No way did that happen. No way. No way is that real. Oh, Beacon of Immortality. Double our life total. That seems good with Angelica Chord. Glorious Anthem seems good with everything else, though. Oh, God. I'm just taking the Glorious Anthem here. Oh, Knight of, Knight of Glory. Knight of Glorious Anthem. Am I right? No. You're not right. You're quite wrong. Uh, Beacon might come back, but it would have to be like, there'd have to be two cards in the pack. No way did someone in Tampa say that. No way did a Hungry Howie's employee actually recognize that you're watching the stream. That would be hilarious. I cannot believe that for a second, dude. That would be insane. And we're at a point where we just take all the white cards in the backs. And this is a fine one. Nah. Well, there are no white cards in this pack to begin with, so not really. chastise Sarah Avatar I don't I don't trust my life to live when I, when I have seven mana right I'll just take the removal eh loyal sentry's fine come on beacon just mana lions alright everything's happening beacon 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 I don't think we're, I don't think we did it. Beacon. Maybe there's a beacon here? I don't know. I think we've passed the point of no return on the beacon. Actually, these red cards are not bad. These are very aggressive. Oh, another Ajani. All of the Ajani's that are fit to print. <laughs> could be Ajani, could be Honor, could be Knight of the White Orchid. I think it's Knight here. I bet we get Honor or Ajani back. We got basically every white card back, and I think we want more two drops. Uh, trophies. I don't even know how to look.
I don't know. I guess I can't tell from here. Oh, a Johnny's Chosen. Whenever an enchantment enters the battlefield under your control, we'll create a 2 2 white cat token. How many enchantments are even in this set? Imposing Sovereign's pretty good. Any enchantment, huh? We have one, two. We have no way to gain any life, though. Yeah, people are putting bacon on all sandwiches. We got a tofu burger. Put some bacon on it. Oh, I'm good, thanks. I'll pass. I still don't. Not, these still don't fit great. A little, a little disappointed because. I haven't actually like I've had these. I've been wearing aligners. Uh, for probably close to a year now. It was supposed to be six months, but then they had to do what's known as a mid-course correction, which means um, things were not as ideal as they wanted them to be. I'm going to get this lean and warlier. So I had to go back, and they had to readjust the, the aligners. Um, but, like, once you put them in for the first time, like, you're supposed to have a lisp, right? Because it's a sizable foreign object in your mouth that you're not used to talking with. And I haven't had a lisp for ever since like the first three weeks I've had them <clears throat> um but these are like these fit weird and uh so they've been I've been less used to them and it obviously affects my diction that'd be the word we're looking for here Dear God, thank God you're here. What have I? What happened? Is everything okay? Oh, Fiend Slayer Paladin. Here's a fun fact: when I was at TCG Player, this was our spoiler card for M14, and I had written up a sweet article about it. Uh, but then they accidentally, Wizards of the Coast, accidentally spoiled the card in like a promotional video on YouTube. So we were like. Hey, this was our spoiler, uh, but you accidentally spoiled it. What do we do? And then they gave us uh, which which the witch hunter, which whatever the the green the green guy the green guy in this cycle that had like pro black and blue, and it like had couldn't be targeted blue and black spells or had expert or something. So we got that guy instead. <clears throat> Ooh, Archangel of Thune. That's a good one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three cards are coming back. Maybe one of these white cards comes back, but I'm not going to pass an Archangel of Thune. Uh, I did have to rewrite the article, yes. So that was that was pretty rough. Witch Stalker, that's what it was. Oh, Grand Abolisher. That's your boy. Uh, when we cast an enchantment for response, I'm just taking the Grand Abolisher. I think we're just going aggressive here. I don't really feel like, ooh, Sublime Archangel. Well, that card's gas. Um, if you manage to get like a Hushwind Griff or like a Fiend Slayer Paladin, I might just keep the Angelica Accord now that we have Archangel and Fiend Slayer Paladin. Maybe? I don't know. And we have the tokens from Leon War Leader. Oh, Militia Bugler? Bugler? Or we can take this Gideon's Lawkeeper. I think it's Bugler. He knows it's pronounced Bugler, right? He knows. He knows. 
This guy's almost definitely gonna hit. Wow, both of our both of our preferred cards came back. I think it's gotta be honor here. A Johnny's great and all, but does it gain four life? Yeah, we're just gonna take the honor here. Oh, Johnny's chosen came back too. That's great. Locks and Warhammer came back as well. But again, it's three life, not four. So it's like, it's this weird like. I'm just gonna take this and I'll put the Angelica Court in the sideboard. Armored Ascension was pretty OP when we played it, and I'll take that guy. I don't think Oppressive Raise is bad at all. I, I agree with you. It definitely gets rid of... Wow, I was really hoping the one drop would come back. That's pretty... Or the two drop would come back. That's pretty awesome. Alright, again, this deck looks pretty good. Um, I, Johnny's Chosen is kind of iffy. We don't have that many enchantments. It's any enchantment I like, not just auras. We do have this guy. Actually, we have the pump spells. So I think we only have three, though. I have not built a reanimator deck yet. Are bugle chips the whole thing? Do you mean bugles? I don't think they were ever chips. They are more like corn cones that were probably more frequently put on fingers than eaten. Or probably the exact proportion. I love a good corn cone. You and me both, buddy. Nick, are you at work right now? Hat Mike? What do we got here? Gideon Jura? Oh, that's what you want to open. Oh, I also hope this Oblivion Ring comes back, but I think we got to take Gideon Jura. That guy is just a house. I'm at home. Did you, were you working earlier? Did you get home? Were you working and then you went home? And you're like, I'm done? I also like Primeval Bounty a lot. It makes me tempted to splash green. I don't think we have a reason to do that, though. Oblivion Ring also does pair well with uh, a Johnny's Chosen. Also, I thought a Johnny's Chosen was a 4-4, not a 3-3. I want to take the Gideon Jura. That is how things work. That is how you work until you go home. Because then you are no longer working. Captain's call? Captain calls. Captain call. Captain call seems fine. Captain call. Captain's call, I guess. Gideon might have wheeled, but like, I don't know. Three one ones is pretty decent when we have things like uh, Honor of the Pure and Glorious Anthem. And then we can put counters on two of them. Or, actually, just having three 1-1s and then having Sublime Archangel is pretty strong. I like making Witch Fingers out of them. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Oh, Marble Diamond? <laughs> God. Not a single white card in this pack. And then they're like, here's a Marble Diamond for your troubles. And I'm like, thanks. Preach. I have, I think, a Mosquito Bite right here on my leg and it is un uncomfortable. It is not... I don't. I, I would. I would advise against it. If you guys are interested in uh, having mosquitoes bite you, no, don't do it. I. Uh, I advise against it. Sunday, Monday, happy days. Moon is dumb. Triple kid spirits. And a relic sneaker. When it becomes renowned, you may search your library for an equipment card. Don't care about that. I'm just going to take these three, but these triplicate spirits. And I'll probably take the captain's call out. I'll trade you for this zit inside my ear cavity. You know, um, I don't know if that's how trades work, but I might veto that. Does that mean I get a zit inside of my ear cavity, or do I actually get the zit itself your actual zit I'm confused about how this uh, how this exchange works oh look we got Lafof in the chat who is uh, not at all helpful in my text message exchanges with him oh 
soul of Theros. Oh boy. Oh boy. Giving all our guys plus two, plus two, and first strike and lifelink seems pretty insane. What? <laughs> LaFofe, I love you, buddy. I love you. It's all about that dark wood. That's what she said. Sarah Angel also seems good. I don't think we're a Wrath of God deck, mostly because we don't want a Wrath of God and kill all of our creatures. I'm going to take Sarah Angel here. Bruno Brombra, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. Welcome, welcome. Okay, that sick conversation was so gross. Take that sub, you filthy... I appreciate it. Uh, let the record show that I did not inst instigate... Uh, I did not initiate the conversation. I, uh, I merely uh, partook of it, which I'm not sure is better. Oh, Obelisk of Erd. I don't know if we have enough creature types that Obelisk would actually be good here. How many soldiers do we have? Human Knight, Soldier. I'm going to put the Knights here. I want to highlight the Windborn Muse because I think that's probably the best pick. Soldier. Knight. I guess we could also name Humans. There's a lot of overlap between these guys. Yeah, these are all humans. Actually, humans could be the, the way to go. It's all, it's all humans. I don't think we need it, though, is really the issue. We already have, like, a bunch of other stuff. Ooh, Rock's Faith Mender. We could have the Gas Life Gain deck if we took that beacon. I'm pretty sure if we have Rock's Faith Mender uh, and we had beacon out, we just win the game on the spot, right? Because, like, it doubles the life you gain, so, like... What is it? Double your life total? So if we were at like 17, we'd gain gain 17, but then we'd actually gain 34, so that's pretty good. Yeah, we'll just take Brave the Elements here. I don't know if we're going to play it. Yeah, Devouring Light came back. That's Dece Plus, I would say. Got some spiders in the sideboard over here. Fort fortify! Do need some cuts here. Do need some cuts. So what, we look at three cuts here? Yeah, Loyal Sentry can go. I don't see us blocking anything. Savannah Alliance is pretty underwhelming as far as creatures go. I like this as a trick. We also have 17 creatures and, and a triplicate spirit, so we can probably cut one more creature. And a Gideon Jura. Oh, uh, Windmore Muse is probably kind of meh. It's a good sideboard card to have, though. Spiders in the sideboard is 10th track on my new hit album. <laughs> How can it be a hit album and be new at the same time? Hmm. Curiouser and curiouser. I went to Home Depot yesterday and bought a $100 tool chest. A craftsman tool chest. And then I put all my tools inside of it. Might be Mentor. What are you triggering it off of? I Really? This guy. This guy. Uh, the two creatures that come out from this guy. Oh, now they're gone. Alright, so this guy. The, this guy's creatures. Uh, this guy. 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 Uh, these guys probably I mean the only thing that makes tokens is I mean the, even if we didn't have these two like we still have nine creatures that trigger mentor like that's a good amount my only issue with mentor is all of a sudden if we have is if we have, like, Glorious Anthem or Honor of the Pure in play, but 
I mean, if we draw like one or two cards off of it, it's still very, very good. So. I cut two one drops. <laughs> one of which isn't even like an attacker. This guy, all this guy does is block a guy and, and kill it. And we're not going to be doing a lot of blocking in, in, our, in our deck, so. Right, I think if we have if we have an anthem, like I'm already fine. I think if we had enough creatures to actually trigger mentor, and we also had an anthem in play, I think that's good enough, right? These days are do we do we get Aurelia? No, actually, there are Sarah. Believe it or not, there are no Aurelias in a corset in corsets. So. XX Tressor XX is our opponent. Uh, no doubt hailing from a very high, uh, very heavily emo background. We'll keep this hand. When I came to your stream the first time, I thought you are Frank and Mike is... is Wow. Wow. That's very strange. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Well, at least they're not going to have Steel Leaf Champion. Okay, two dudes. Oh, the Glade Cover Scout is terrifying. However, we have a good curve here. Oh god, don't put something on the Glade Cover Scout. Uh, oh, that's gross. Not a fan of that. Well then. Alright, so we're not blocking... Elvish Champion is not attacking. If they attack with Druid of the Cowl, I'll probably just double block. Maybe. Oh, Swamp is pretty scary. Wow, double Elf Lord. Okay, that's nice. Wow. So this is a hell of a start. I'm uncomfortable. Just this guy? I think we're double blocking here. I mean, this is a fair trade, one for one. I mean, I was tempted to make that trade previously anyway, so... <clears throat> These days are <laughs> Goodbye, gray skies. Hello, blue. Why do I have that the Happy Days song stuck in my head? Can someone explain that to me? Oh, no attacks? Fascinating. Alright, that's fine. I mean, all your guys are very, very big. It's uh, very, very big. So we can just play Sublime Archangel, which gives us another body. We can keep up Brave the Elements. We can also attack with this guy. Exalt is a trigger, right? I mean, we get two one ones. They are they're tapped and attacking though, so that's not great. Yeah, this is fine. Like it attacks as a six six, and they just block with like four five and three five, or three five and three three, so they get to trade with one guy. I'd rather play a Johnny buff two dudes. 
What's this? What's happening? Um, yeah, all right, that's obnoxious. Especially if they have the web. I don't know if they do. They always have the web. Just this guy, huh? I'm going to take four here. I almost feel like we can get into a position where we can actually just kill them. So this is 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. <coughs> I mean, we, we should have actually put the one counter on this guy this turn. And we also should have attacked with Sublime Archangel. I don't think they have the the web if they have not cast it, unless it's in their hand. Wow. This is a lot of damage. I think we're just dead now. Uh, 4, 8, 12, 16. Yep, we're basically dead. Oh, no, they can't attack with one of these guys. So we're not dead, but I think they might alpha here. No, just this guy again. Okay. Attacking a Johnny. Right, but then it goes to the graveyard, and then they get to they get to just activate it again and get it from the graveyard. So that's pretty good. Um, how much do we get next turn? Five. So this would be six, seven, eight. I think we should have attacked. If we attack last turn. Um, actually, if we attack last turn, I think we'd be dead, right? We'd have two blockers. We can block their biggest guys. Then we take 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 17. Yeah, that'd be bad. Um, they have three Elf Lords. That's pretty bad. Uh, we can actually do more than 12. We can do way more than 12. We can do 5, 10, 11, 12. The two one ones, which is 13, 14, and plus 2, which is 15, 16. If we draw an Anthem effect, we just win. So I actually have to let this go through. 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Oh, God. I think we are I think we just messed up, actually. I don't think we messed up, actually. We need the Ajani's. It, we're either going to lose a guy here or lose the Brave, and we need the Brave to win. So, nifty, Chris. What's going on, my buddy? My dude. Anthem? Opposing Sovereign. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We have to be able to... We can, we can take three of these. We have to be able to block four... And that is how many they have. The spider is called Arachnus Spinner, yes. That is a lot of mana. Wow. Okie dokie. Yikes. I think we have to use this now, unfortunately. We'll say green, because that will actually prevent their entire attack. Jesus, their deck is unbelievable. actually pretty good uh, I guess we'll just go at your face here no we'll go at Garrick um so yeah we'll just put all these on first I don't think these are also going to count for exalted in fact I know they're not Always yield to that, 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 and that. So this is a 10 10. They can block with 5 6 and 5 7, but that would actually be pretty good because. Um, oh, interesting. Well, we do get to eat a guy. That's nice. We might be dead here. 
I just wanted the double triggers. I think we're dead. Actually, maybe not. Four guys. One, two, three, four. Actually, I don't think we're dead here. If they have nothing, I think we're actually in really good shape. They get to make a beast. Yep, I got that beast in my sights. Comes into play tapped. Yeah, make a million mana. <coughs> Just give me one turn to attack with this Archangel of Thune. Which would be five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's ten in the air. It's pretty good. We get to go to 26,000 life. Are you convoking here? That's impressive. Court of Calling, which is in Magic Origins. No, Hangerback Walker. Okay. Well, how did they convoke to? Oh, these guys tap for mana. <laughs> That's not a convoke. Let's play this guy. <clears throat> All right, so I'm pretty sure we have to go at Garrick, and we probably do it with the double flyers. We gain a bunch of life because I don't want them to be able to untap and kill one of our things. Attack Garrick. Attack Garrick. Actually, um, we gain, what, two from the lifelink? So we go to... Actually, we're gaining a bunch here, but I don't want to have not... I don't want to not have blockers here. We're also going to gain five, so we're going to 21. One, two, three, four. We have four creatures to block. Um, so we can go block, 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 block. So whatever, they're taking five. What's five times four is 20. Uh, so we can we can block like we can take four eight twelve sixteen we'll, we'll block five 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 and three actually we'll also gain more from the first striking guy we'd actually gain two more from this and they'd probably have to block this with something or they don't it's up to them I wish they weren't I, kinda, I don't know if they wish they were attacking or not It's one less guy, but it's two more life, and it's also two more triggers, which means this guy becomes a 5-5. Five five, which means we'll gain another five life before... Hmm. It's actually tricky. It's actually surprisingly tricky. Reach is no good. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They have nine creatures. We can get rid of the Garrick 100%. We're going to gain five. This will get a five, six, seven. So we go to 23. But we only have three blockers. So we block five, five, and five. That means we take four, eight, 12, 16, 17, 18, 19, 24. Yeah, I'm just going to go at your face here. But these guys are going to be huge, and the Fiend Slayer Paladin will be a 5 5 because of all the uh, Archangel of Thune triggers. Uh, face. Face. Okay. It also, I mean, like, I wish we had the. Oh, oh, I didn't know this one had reach. Oh, that's awesome. Because now we do get to actually. Oh, we don't get to kill either of these. That's brutal. I didn't actually reason. I didn't realize the uh, the re double reach creatures. That's unfortunate. I mean, we're still getting the triggers. That's still not. That's still how that works. So, we're definitely getting triggers here. Well, that is unfortunate. But we're at 23. They're at 13. We got rid of the Garrick. We still have a Sublime Archangel. I feel like we're actually in not terrible position here. 
I mean, they could theoretically untap uh, tap this guy to make like what five, one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. They could just make six ants, and then we'd probably not be in great shape there. Yeah, I'll just take five gain five here. <laughs> totally reasonable. I totally forgot this had reach. Oh, wow. We just win the game against this board? That seems preemptive. Wow. Also, Gideon Jura would have been insane next turn. Make them attack everything. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That would have been that. Oh, yeah. Wow. I have no idea what just happened there. That was not expected. Uh, Devouring Light seems great here. So does Loyal Sentry. It doesn't seem like they have a ton of ways to deal with that. Wow, that was unexpected. All right. What's not good here? Uh, I don't think I care about Hushwing Griff. Uh, Grand Abolisher is not super exciting when they're playing a green deck. I mean, they had multiple blockers, though. Like, they can make literally six... They can make literally six... Uh, six insects that turn. And then they can also, like, if they if their Hangerback Walker just dies, then they get a bunch of blockers for Sublime Archangel. Like, that's the only flyer we have. <clears throat> I do like Muse, actually. However, like, they don't have a ton of ways. We already have Archangel of Tithes. I think we probably go 41 here. Well, I mean, I'll deal with it. Did you see game one of the world? Ch I did not. Rocking and rolling. Oh, he goes. I will keep this hand. Turn to council seems good. I imagine they're going to have at least one guy before then, though. <laughs> Hunter's dreaming in the background. I don't know if you guys can hear him. He's having a little dream. I would love a three drop here. Can you guys hear him? He's dreaming about squirrels. Do I have a way to get rid of overgrowth? I don't think so. Three drop. Oh, that's five drop. I guess we do have a... Uh, We do have a Devouring Light, so that's not terrible. Although we're not going to use it against their Glade Cover Scout. I see it's gonna be like this well then oh boy eight eight huh so we could play War Leader right now and then put Armor Ascension on the War Leader to make him huge. Or we can actually put Armor Ascension on this guy to gain like... So we're going to take another three next turn. I think this is actually better because next turn we can put... Uh, 
See in quotes. Thanks so much, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. Always a pleasure. Yeah, putting this on Fiend Slayer Paladin is pretty good as long as we don't die here. I'll go to three. We'll we'll armor this guy up. Gain six. Go to nine. And actually, gain one. Go to ten. If they don't have like a giant growth, all right, that's good. This guy can't be the target of black spells or red spells, so I feel like we're okay in that in that regard. Well, whatever this is is pretty sizable. Hanger rack walker actually might just be hanger rack walker because it looks like they're Genesis Hydra for five. What do you get? Fauna shaman here. That's not super impressive. I would really actually like a planes here to be quite honest. Thanks, Magic. Always a pleasure. Um, so we put this on here. It's just seven seven. We can just attack with a seven seven, which we kind of have to do. Or we can actually keep it back and block because it's got first strike. That seems good. Let's do that, and we can still keep up devouring light. <clears throat> it's also could it could be, it's actually a two turn clock though. We block here. We take ten though, so I think we actually die. Yeah, let's not do that. Ain't nobody got time for that. All right, so again, we know you don't have a web, or else you would have used it at any point last game. So next time we can actually make Gideon Jura force you to attack everything, which is nice. And then Soul of Theros, Vigilance, no, no first strike though. So no reach, no reach, no reach. We can actually attack into you. Gideon, we just make everything attack Gideon, right? I think that's totally fine. We go to 11 here. And I can't imagine the green-black deck has a way to deal with Planeswalkers. Goodbye, Bruce. During your turn, come at me, bro. Oh, they do have Apex Predator. Yep, that's pretty bad. We did actually see that. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, they got the mana for it, too. So, they don't like to have to. I mean, if they had it in hand, they would have probably played it over Arachnus Spider for sure. And it looks like we're good. All at the Gidgen. I get to eat a Fauna Shaman at the very least. That's not bad. If we had one more mana or one more creature, we could have Devouring Lighted something. But, uh... I'm wondering how you beat Fiendslayer Paladin here. I guess you play the 3-4 the, the Elf with Reach. Yep, okay. <laughs> That'll do, pig. That'll do. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Dang it. <clears throat> so we can go lean and war leader. Still have two mana up. This guy can stay back. So they have to actually block here, which is great. Or we could just play Soul of Theros, which is huge. Blocks the 5-5 five, five and the 5-7. Yep, this is a pretty sweet situation. Da, 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 da. 
Soul of Theros or Warlander. Warlander lets us keep up Dragon Light. Soul of Theros is just a stronger body. Better use of mana. We're at 19, though. 8. This is 18, 19, 20. Like we're, I mean, we're basically just fine. I want to play Warlander because I want to keep up Devouring Light. Uh, if they go Garrick and then they just kill Soul of Theros, we block here. 5, 10. Actually, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Soul of Theros seems way stronger, though. Yeah, we're just gonna be we're gonna risk it for the biscuit here. Yeah, we could also play War Leader and Knight and still kept up the light. But I think I just want the soul on board, because this is gonna pull us so far ahead if we can just activate it once next turn. I think the game actually just, just ends on the spot. They might just alpha here, because So it's 8, 9, 10. If they pump this, it's 11, 12, 13, 14. Uh, if they have Might of Oaks, they probably would have just alpha because well, this is 15, 16, 17. So we're still not dead even if they have Might of Oaks here. Yeah, this is fine. They do get to kill our Soul of Theros, but then we just get to activate it from the graveyard. So. Rangers, Kyle. All right, that's still a trade, which is still fine. It's actually a two for one, and we still get the graveyard ability. And you're probably gonna pump this. No, nope, that guy costs six. Oh, I think you still get to pump one, two, three. Yeah, you still get to pump this guy. So we would take eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We we'll go to seven. Um, but then we gain nine. Yeah, this is pretty good. Yep. So if we just activate this next turn, are they dead? Three. Other creatures get plus one, plus one, right? So this is three. This is four, five. So no, they would go to a two. Can you use this anytime? Oh, that's pretty good. So I can wait till... Um... Yikes. <laughs> that's... Yikes. Um... Well, they have to block here, so I might as well just play these two, right? Um, then we don't get the perk, though. How much man? How much? How much life do we gain? Eight, nine, ten, eleven. We gain twelve life, so we go out to, like to seventeen. Let's play you, and we'll play you. <clears throat> I don't really care about the council's intent here. I'd rather just have the three guys up for uh always yield, always yield, always yield, always yield. That'll do. Alright, so Blind Archangel getting the job done since nineteen dickety two. As they say. That was pretty good. Wow. I was actually surprised. Based on that game one, I was like, I don't know how we win this match. This deck seems better than ours. And then we won, and their deck was not better than ours. So that's pretty good. Also, don't let anybody ever tell you that Mono White is not OP. What jank tribes are in this cube? Um, I don't know, actually. That's a good question. Elves, goblins, uh, soldiers, and knights. So I guess I do know. Their deck was better. You're just a superior man. How dare you? How dare you insult my deck but compliment me? I guess I'll let it slide. They're also 1-1, one, one, so now they're 1-2, which is really sad because their deck is nuts. Their deck seemed fantastic. It also feels like if you get to go turn one, scout, turn three, overgrowth, turn four, prodigious growth on the scout, making an 8-8 trampler, um, it feels like you should probably win that. Well, they didn't have the 8-8 on turn two. There was no way to get that prodigious growth down on turn two. But I see your point. Also, against the red deck, Fiendslayer Paladin, a 3-3 Fiendslayer Paladin? That's bonkers. This can't be the target of red spells, just to be clear. And if they have something like an Ember Hauler that deals two, uh, it's not going to kill him now. Uh, 
<clears throat> yeah, Mono White uh, was good for us the other day as well. Fiend Slayer Paladin OP. Militia Bugler. Do, 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 do. Come on, buddy. You gotta throw your goblin away. Don't you wish your goblin was hot like me? Oh, that guy attacks each turn? Good deal. Good deal. All these guys have to attack? Come on. Bring them. I don't know how you beat this. I'm gonna be honest with you. Are you gonna stoke my face here? Sure. That's fine. I'll take six. Oh, I still get to eat this guy and gain three of it back. Deal. <laughs> That's great. Just gr well, that guy's pretty good. All right, no whiffs. Look at the top four. Come on, no whammies. Wow, that was not a whiff at all. Uh, Knight of Glory seems good. Pro black. Actually, I thought this was the new one that had first strike. First strike is really where you want to be. But none of these other guys have first strike either. So it's probably grand. It's probably mentor of the week here, and then we can actually. Uh, I don't foresee us attacking here. I'd rather just block and gain life. They have three cards. We have five cards. We have a life gainer that they can never target. So you know that's pretty good. This could be expensive on paper. I don't... I doubt it. Just because it's all Corset cards. And Corset cards generally don't have a super high bar. Alright, well. We're definitely blocking this guy. And this guy. If this just goes through with no tricks, I'd be very, very surprised. I don't think there's like a plus, plus X plus more than one. Like, I don't think there's a plus two, plus two that can actually blow us out here. There might be, like, a sure strike here that, that blows out the Militia Bugler. Uh, what do people use to simulate packs and paper? You just, you shuffle it all up, and then you literally just uh, make piles of 15 cards. So, it's pretty, pretty simple. And that's it. All right, Fiendslayer Paladin gets the job done. Wow. All right, these games have been something else, that's for sure. Uh, it feels like Windborn Muse is probably good. Hmm. Sorry, Angel can probably come out. I don't hate Loyal Sentry. I do like Devouring Light. Kind of? Nah, maybe not. I think this is actually fine like this. I think her, I think her deck is actually good. Very good. I will keep this hand. First Striker seems good. If money is an issue building and I played a proxy cube quite a bit and it was yeah, I mean proxy cubes are fine. I just I'm a big fan of looking at cards and having all the cards in the cube. Well that could be problematic. Oh, that could be good though. So right now we can go mentor into war leader. 
Turn after that, we'll have four mana so we can go knight, draw a card, keep up brave. That seems good. This guy has to attack, so we're not going to block that. I will block your Grim Lava Mancer, though, if you allow it. For now, I'll just block this gentleman. Unfortunately, this guy actually... Uh, I think we just attack here. I, I, I'll trade with either of these guys, but I feel like this guy's just getting renowned here. The problem with that is... Actually, I don't think we attack here. I can just take one from this guy forever. The problem with that is I don't really, really want Goblin Robo Master coming in or trading with something, so... Don't you wish your goblin was hot like me? What's going on here? Some shenanigans. Shirt shenanigans. Obviously what MTG community needs is resaleable boosters with optional injectable packing gas so you can rip packs while drafting cube. I think that's totally fine so long as they, if you also spray a little bit of that new card smell into the pack, in which case... I'm game. Oh, is that what the packing gas is? Ah, see, that's funny. I just thought it was... I thought the packing gas... By packing gas, you meant like... Um, like to, to give it like a... Like a like a poof. Because I didn't think there'd actually be cards in there, right? So I thought there would just be like a pack and then... Anyway. Whatever, nerds. You guys are nerds. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, well, this is nice. I'm having a bad time. Um, yeah, we'll just take four here. God, there's so many lords in this cube. It's unbelievable. Uh, oh, that was a good one. I'll play you. We can play Knight of Glory, and then we can keep up the... Actually, I'm probably going to draw a card here. Actually, oh, God. No, it's not worth it. We have things to do. I'd rather just keep up Brave the Elements here. Or do we draw for this guy? I don't know. They have one card in hand? No, we can't. I can't risk that. These are some songs that I'm singing. I mean, we have a bunch of cards that limit their ability to attack, such as Archangel of Tithes, Sublime... Sublime Archangel? Is that what it's called? Windborn, Windborn Muse, that's what it's called. Uh, Archangel of Thune, very good. Fiendslayer Paladin, Gideon Jura. Ugh. Okay, we're going to combat. Oh, and this guy has to attack, so we can actually block here, block here, which is muy bueno. Oh, no, you, that, mm, no? You don't want that guy to come in? It's up to you. It's up to you, Sorbo1. Mm-hmm. 
boom, 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 boom. Okay, so the answer is nay. So they're probably going to kill the Knight of the White Orchid, or try to. Attacking creatures. Or not. Okay, that seems fine. So now they're going to Grim Lava Mancer this, and we're going to go brave, and it's just going to be a b -b blowout. A b -b -b blowout. <clears throat> I will name Red. This was uh, this was uh, another blowout, just to be clear. Block. Uh, wait, why don't white creatures you control? Why doesn't he? Have, why doesn't it say pro red on here? All right, well that's awkward. Okay, well we're hoping it's still there. Okay, good. No, hold on. Okay, good. It was still there. Wow, that's really awkward. Why don't you have the ability that you have? I don't understand. All right, so they have one card. Five, six. Also, if we play Leader and War Leader uh, with Mentor of the Meek, we get to draw two cards next turn. Seems good. I mean, it's definitely War Leader here. And we also play a land because we want to be able to, like, if we draw another land, we want to be able to play Anthem for three, draw two, and still have two mana up for whatever. I don't actually feel like even attacking here. Like, we, we win this game very, very handily if we're able to untap. They're probably going to kill Mentor the Meek. We probably actually shouldn't have blocked the Arsonist. I wanted to get off the board because it, it lets our knight... It, it leaves our knight a little safer. But it does put a card in the graveyard for them to Grim Lava Mance or something, so... I could have also even played Anthem this turn just to have... Uh, like, these guys safe. But... That being said... Yep, that guy's fine. Intriguing. Thank you. Garbage Mage, thank you so much for the resub. Sky Scanners, Sky Scanners in flight. All right, so we're just going to block like this. If you have a, a spell that deals one damage, that's fine. If you have a plus three, plus three, that's fine. You're just going to let me block with the knight and then kill it? Or are you going to block and kill Mentor with me? Oh, just kill the knight. Sure. I don't think they realize the Mentor of the Meek powers that are going to be taking place this turn. And doesn't matter. All right, we would have drawn a Grand Abolisher. We would have drawn two cards off of this guy, which would play to land, and then we could play Abolisher. Yeah, that would have been pretty good. All right, we are currently 4-0. Seems good. Our Skyrockets are in flight. Our Sky Scanners are in flight. Afternoon Delight. Yeah, this hand seems fine. Any land, and we have two, two drop, two, three drops, and then we have a four drop that is. I thought the deck was wide. Damn it! Yeah, that's uh, still a good Roseanne meme. Don't force spike me, bro. Oh, are you really gonna do it? No, they didn't. They suck. You suck, Holika. Got him. Get wrecked. But, well then. Well, isn't that special? Give me a way to target that dude. Actually, maybe I just play Mentor of the Meek here. Because if we hit another land, or actually even if we don't, we can play Knight of Glory and Militia Bugler.
Okay. Okay. Oh, we did a land. We did a land. Go play this guy. Let's take a gander first. Wow, five planes. Okay. So if the next card happens to be a creature, we're going to feel pretty silly. Okay, it was just a fifth. Okay, appreciate it. Uh, so it was just literally five planes in a row. That's utterly insane. Still drew a card. So next time we can actually play both of these and draw a card. Seems good. Oh, red. Okay, that's fine. It's all fine. It's all happening. Hmm. Oh! Oh! You want to see some... Want to see some trickery? Some trickeration? So, again, we can play both of these next turn. Draw a card. Seems good. Divination? Nice. I'm on board with that. When our opponent has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 mana, and what they do is divination. Uh, that seems fine. I accept. How about this guy? Do you like this? Do you like this card? How about this guy? Do you like this guy? I'm going to draw a card if you let it resolve. Oh, I'm not because the... I'm so bad at this game. All I had to do was play those in a different order. What a dummy. What an absolute idiot. Our opponent's like, thanks for giving up all that value. And I missed off the bugler. But we are out of range of a lot of the more powerful, like, sweeper effects. So, that's good. A lot of these creatures are just, they're just too big. Okay, that's that's the end, I guess. I wish we took that disenchant, but I really don't because I don't think we took a, I think we took a card that was better than the disenchant. So... I don't really think any of these cards are that great. I'm just going to submit. I think our deck is good. Earthquake for five? Yeah, I guess they could do that. Have you been watching any of the PTK? I watched, I watched a lot of it yesterday. I haven't watched any today. Because I'm here with you guys. We're all having a good time. Your mother's a warp world. Got him. Oh, wow, I played a Warp World deck in Standard. Cool story, bro. Uh, we're on the play. God, I love Knight on the play. I will keep. Sovereign into Knight into Gain a Land. That seems great. Oh, boy. I play some janky combos as an adult. Mm. 
I'll get a load of old Dr. Diamond here. Actually, this guy's great. Um, yeah, let's do this guy so that they can't counter or something. Oh god, Warp World and Commander seems like nightmare fuel. I went back and watched the matches against LSV. Yeah, those matches were great. Well, those games were just one match. Give me my free land. God, our deck has so much value in it. Not going to attack with this guy. Then we just get get nugged on by the nugged on. What does that even mean? You guys know what I'm saying. You just have to use my my context to decode it. I see a cone of flame. Must be nice. How wonderful for you that one of my creatures had. had one toughness so that you would easily uh... <laughs> oh boy you kids and your nugs and you're getting nugged ons Dr. Diamond is the third track on my new hit oh, wow when does your album drop because it has to be out already right if you have all these hits Oh, you could actually sack this guy whenever you want now. That's pretty gas. Okay, that's enough lands. They have two cards, though. That's pretty good. Sky rockets in flight. Afternoon delight. Oh, I no, I want to be able to... I want to be able to make it so that like, I don't... Uh... Okay, well, close enough. Ooh, they block one, they still gain two, and then they take six. Good deal. I actually take seven, because that's how math works. You sack this guy? You got it. They're, they're digging. Oof. Thank you. That's a big boy. Steel Legion, thank you so much for the resub. Welcome back. Really appreciate the support, Moan Frere. What are they, oh, that's not what I want to do. Um, okay, I don't care about this. What do they have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. They can cast everything here, I guess. Also, Inferno's pretty bad for us. I want to blog it like this. Inferno's the scariest one. Actually, this is a five, six. That was five, seven. This is actually fine. They're probably taking these three, I would imagine. Disperse, Hellkite, Psy. So this is a 6-6. Six, six. I guess it still gets by this guy. And we get a couple of 1-1s one -ones out of it. Oh, yeah, alright. So, Hellkite. Oh, oh, did they say? Oh, nice. That's so much easier. Thank you, Magic Online. It's the little things. Okay, that was what we wanted. That was nice. Yeah, this is pretty brutal because they get Hellkite now. But the alternative was they get Inferno and they just wipe the board. And... I mean, they could also just block with Sphinx and Toothopters if they wanted to. But looks like they do not want to do that. So I would assume that they're going to get rid of the Warleader and one of the Cats. But also getting rid of the Sublime Archangel is an option. Yep. Okay. Yeah, Sublime Archangel seems better. 
I'm having a hard time with these big guys. We did not see any of these in game one. Okay, that's about enough. That's probably where I draw the line with the uh, the tenth planes. Is getting nugged on the same as removing two loyalty from Liliana the last? Oh my god. Oh my god. That's a solid meme right there. So our friend Mike, when we were in, uh, we were at BlizzCon, we were drafting at our friend Mike's store, Collector Legion. Um, and Mike was playing a Liliana. He had a Liliana in play, and he was in a match over here. And me, I was over here, and I think Chris was on the other side of him. So like Mike was in the, in the middle of everybody. And uh, he said, neg her. Uh, but he said it real fast. In response, you know, you know, as uh, to to announce Liliana's second ability, I will negative. I will put a. I will activate. Oh, you were his opponent. Okay, I will put a. Uh, I will activate Liliana's loyalty ability, negative loyalty ability, and um, did not sound like what we thought he said, and like you could hear like the the record skip in the room. It's just like, ah! and everyone's like, oh, I'm sorry. What did you just say? And it was super awkward because it like it sounded dead on. I want to take this knight out. And much there was much discomfort. Uh, I'm gonna keep this hand. Hushwing Griff seems pretty okay. I think two six drops is rough, but come on, this guy's not really a six drum. Have you played a card against humanity? Yes, yes, I have. Uh, however, when you're playing cards against humanity, you're expecting a different game in that situation. Like, you go into it expecting to be offended. So, like, when someone says something offensive in cards against humanity, you're like, okay, well, this is basically what the game is about, right? So, but if you're playing a cube draft with a bunch of friends, uh, and you hear neg her very quickly not really expected <laughs> so Liliana's like you're probably wondering how I got here wow that's a that's a meme well we're not attacking into that guy I will however flash in this Hushwing Griff and then go triplicate spirits so that they can proceed to uh yeah that's fine cone of flame everything i own oh that's a better draw i'll just play that guy instead <coughs> so we still have to get through this i don't know how we're doing it Do you know that there is a version when you say a statement question and you have to... Okay, that's fine. Do you know that there is a version when you say a statement question and you have to lay a meme out in the best... Yeah, uh, I don't actually... I know, I know what that is, but I know there is a game. Okay, they have no cards. They have one card in hand. Oh. <laughs> oh, biscuits. Yeah, definitely playing that. One, two, three, four, five... Yep, and we make two twos now. Yep, that's pretty okay. So two one on two two probably, but then this guy, like, you know, two, three, four, five. They can actually try to kill this guy, but I don't know if that's your best uh, course of action here. Okay, we'll put you in front. Glorious Anthem makes Cone of Flame so much worse, but they can still do 3-2-1 and one to us. They can still 2-for-1 us. They only have one card in hand. Seems good. They can sack two of their artifact. Oh, God, it's going to be something busted. Okay, that's still one card in hand, basically. They just get to untap and draw a card, so that's good. I'm okay with it. All right. Trading post. That's actually very good. You have a lot of things. Okay. 
I feel like if we're able to activate this next turn, we just probably can't lose, right? I don't know if that's... They have nothing. They have no cards in hand. Like, even if we trade here, I think this is actually fine. This is the kind of pressure we want to put on here. Because if they're, if they're double blocking here, they're not blocking these guys. If they're blocking here, they're not blocking one of these guys. So, like, it's it's whatever right now. Yeah, so 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, sure. Yeah, this is good for us. They also don't have a second red, so cards like Inferno are not an option. Uh, they are likely going to sacrifice an artifact here. I don't know if it's better to make three two twos or probably just Soul of Theros, because being able to pump next turn with Soul of Theros is super strong. Yeah, I don't actually see how we lose if Soul of Theros sits here and resolves and we get to activate it. Like, it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Six bodies on the board uh, that all get plus, plus three, plus three, lifelink, and first strike. So... Oh god. So did they do it? I'm about to bust. Come on, buddy. Okay, that's fine. It gets no trigger because of Hushwing Griff. So that's pretty gas. I'm pretty sure they're dead here. Uh, all right, just making sure we, we don't have to use this during, like, uh, only as a sorcery or something. Yep, this is a lot of damage. All righty then. 3 -o. pretty sweet. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam the like and subscribe buttons. You know how you do. I will be back. Don't go anywhere if you're watching on Twitch. But if you're watching on YouTube, you can check me out on Patreon and on Twitch. Links are in the description below. Uh, you can also check me out at meundies.com slash franklapore. That is... We'll get you 15% off and free returns and free shipping. So be sure to check that out if you guys are in the market for that. And everyone is. It's a pretty useful product that uh, you probably need anyway. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. I'll see you next time.